Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell right next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Alright, this is Episode 2 of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day which means in the description I've got a link there for you to episode one how this shave began all right now we're going to continue on with my ZY Grand Slam that we honed up just a beautiful razor real wood metal spacer that's probably a half hollow and it's nice heavy razor guys I'm really enjoying it now for our soap tonight we're using Sterling. Now for our soap tonight, we're using Sterling Soap Company's Black Eyes. And this is so good. This is to me smells like the old timey black licorice. So it's an anise scent. I will have uh, all the ingredients in the scent profile in the description there for you though. Now, I also have my Omega 10,098 and as you see it's loaded so let's just get to town here and do this all right excellent soap and I have to say I really like this brush this is one of my favorite brushes really quite a good performer all right and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the Friday special where we honed up this razor. It was really a lot of fun though. And I enjoyed doing these things. So now if you have ideas or questions or comments that uh, I can Go ahead and make into a Friday special. I will give you a shout out. Plus, I will put in the description a link to your channel if you have videos uploaded. So, guys, if you have any ideas or questions that I can answer on a Friday special, you just let me know. I'll give you a shout out. And, like I say, I'll put a link to your channel if you have videos uploaded. Alright, I always enjoy the comments. Uh, I have some of the best subscribers and viewers that are out there on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your comments. It really is great. So now this is episode two, which means it's a pass and a half. We're going to go across the grain on my neck and against the grain on my cheeks. Right through here on my neck, that will also be against the grain.
Maybe hit a little bump there. Yeah, I did. Got a little bump right there. That's all right, though. You know, that happens to me from time to time. And uh, not a big deal. You know, especially when I uh, go a few days like I did this time and then hit my beard with a razor. You have to, your skin has to really get used to it. And uh, when you lay off for a few days, then uh, your skin isn't as used to that razor. And I guess also for you new guys, um, really a lot of this has to do with your skin getting used to shaving this way. You know, if you're thinking, I'm not getting the most comfortable shave in the world, well, your skin's going to have to kind of get used to it anyway. And uh, there are things you can do to make it better, but, you know, you still have to uh, let your skin adjust. Yeah, I hit another little bump there. So I got one here, got one here. Oh, looks like something there. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> uh, the way it goes. Now, this is a heavier razor than. Uh, uh, I have been shaving with, so maybe I'm just putting a little too much pressure on it. as well so I'll have to see if I can lighten up a little bit yeah that's that side seemed to went better
There we go. And I don't have the smoothest face in the world either. But not a problem. No big deal. That's it. We just carry on, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Those cheeks are right where we want them. Yep. Again, beautiful, beautiful shave. All right, so that was pass two. Now this is the half pass. So what we're going to do is our jawline and our neck. Okay, and this is primarily going to be against the grain. All right, and this is going to do it for me. I have figured out. I don't need a full three passes to get a really good shave. I can do this and it is fine. Works out like a champ. All right. So now there's that. And let's get to it. Oh yeah, nice, really good, good shaver guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go, done. Now let's get that cleaned off, see how we did. Oh yeah, oh wow, 
Yeah, that that's nice. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. All right, aluminum everywhere. Actually, I'm not facing the window. There we go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's that. Now, go ahead and pat that dry. Now, for my aftershave kind of thing, Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. Excellent stuff, guys. This is so good, and the scent on it is just wonderful. I really enjoy the lavender. Mmm, yep. That is so good. And it is so good for your skin. Just, you know, put that everywhere. It's fine. It is fine. And now, kind of for my aftershave cologne thing, fine snake bite. Now, this stuff is amazing. Okay. It is really pretty much pure alcohol and menthol that's it and it is incredible don't get it too close to your eyes I'm, this time hopefully I'll be able to see by the time this video ends we'll, we'll find out and we're going to top this off with Nivea Post Shave Balm Always good, guys. I tell you, take care of your skin. It is the way to go. All right. Yeah, there you are. Another shave in the books. Hey, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here for episode one, how this shave began. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.